Hey guys, I'm Mark Geek. In this video, I'm bringing you a hands-on look and unboxing of another set of controllers. This is from 8-Bit Doe, the Pro 2 Bluetooth gamepad. And these gamepads are actually compatible with the Nintendo Switch, Windows Computer, Android, Mac OS, Steam, Raspberry Pi. This one is the transparent purple. And over here, we got the transparent black. Uh, these go for around $59.99 if I'm not mistaken and they sent it to me so I can try it out make a video for you guys and like I said before I always put them back in the box that way you guys can have an idea what to expect when you get them through the mail so let's going to take off the purple one first which I decided to go ahead and use it on the switch oh man this these are very tight plot packed in Whew, come on. there you go put that to the side Put this to the side it actually comes with these thumbstick covers that you can it looks very nice very nice cool neon green neon purple right or blue yeah neon purple i bet you can put them on the switch or i guess on the controller whatever you want you got the controller itself wait a second did i switch boxes i think i switched boxes no way wait a second i think i put the purple one inside of the black one Oh man, <laughs> well, that's okay. They're basically the same, but in different boxes. Okay, no problem, that's my fault. But yes, normally you would get here the black, the purple version, and over here you would get the black version. I mixed the box up, but let's go ahead and unbox both of them then, right? Since we made that mix up here on video, <laughs> let's go ahead and unbox them both, okay? So here we got the transparent one, which should have been on this side. <laughs> so this over here, of course, comes again with another set of covers for the thumbsticks. It comes with the controller itself. Very nice looking there. They both include the charging cable, USB-C to USB-A. And of course, they both include instruction manuals which you should read if you want to learn about the customization of the rear buttons and so on so on so on there's a lot of good details that you should you're gonna learn if you read those little boxes or instructions so first of all i said that i want to try the the purple on over here right but let's go and show you guys how it looks this is how it looks very nice looking look at that uh, though i'm surprised that on the buttons it doesn't say like x y a b but it does say them in the body on the body right there it does say it right there uh, i see that very cool awesome here in the back you got these controls which i like because they are actually blend in into the body they don't actually stick out so if you're one of those that like me that don't like to use them these are not going to bother you um over here this is where you're going to select the settings if you're going to put it on steam um android you put it here um this right here is on switch all the way to the right goes to x goes for it's for windows so right now i'm going to leave it like that um here comes with these batteries What's cool about these batteries is that you can actually replace them with AA batteries. If these burn out, you can actually use AA batteries, but these are rechargeable, so make sure you actually take care of them. Uh, triggers, everything feels really nice. Really nice. Very, very responsive. And to pair them, let's go ahead and turn them over here. You turn them on here, right? Turn them on here. I believe they're already paired. Let me see. Yeah, they're already paired. So, of course, the first time you pair them, make sure you actually go ahead here, right? And go to change grips. And this is where you're going to be pressing, you know, pressing this button or the pairing button. So, it can actually get into pairing mode right here. Okay, are they on? Yeah, they should be on, right? So, it gets into pairing mode. And once it gets into pairing mode, it's going to appear right here. So, once it appears there, you just are ready to actually use them. So right here, go like that, and we can go ahead and start playing with them. You see that? Right now I'm playing, I'm playing um, Xenoblade Chronicles 2.
And I like them because they do have vibration. They don't have HD rumble, but they do have vibration. And also, uh, one thing that they don't have compared to the... Um, I did like a week ago of a uh, gameplay video of unboxing of the Ghoulie Kit. The Ghoulie Kit con controllers. The Ghoulie Kit controllers actually have NFC. These do not have a NFC. So if you're one of those that are still using, you know, if you're one of those that are still using like, um, okay, if you're using, oh crap, no, this is too far, just too strong for me. It's going to quit right there. Quit, quit, quit. Okay, yeah, if you're one of those that are using NFC, you're not going to be able to use them here. So keep that in mind. Now, over here, let's go ahead and put this in, uh, okay, let's put this in Bluetooth mode. Okay, so here is in Bluetooth mode. We're going to go ahead and put this on the X all the way over here. Oh, by the way, this is how these looks. Uh, let me know in the comments which one you think it looks better. Honestly, I think these actually look better. Because I thought they were like totally black, but it honestly it feels like more grayish than blackish. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. I think these look awesome. Look at the purple. Look at the black ones. I don't know. Let me know in the comments which one do you think actually looks better. I think these look better. I like the way these look. Uh, so here, of course, uh, you're going to put them here. You're going to turn it on. Once you turn it on. We're going to go ahead and put it in pairing mode. Dun, 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 dun. Pairing mode. Dun, dun, dun. It's going to start blinking pretty soon. This is all the way over here. Right? And these. There you go. So now it's in pairing mode. Once it's in pairing mode, it should be recognized over here. So we're going to turn this off again and on. There it is. There it is. So it connected, it vibrated. So that's a very a good sign there that when it vibrates, that means that it's actually connected. And uh, that's it. So we can go ahead back and go back over here. I think we were playing, yeah, we were playing Spider Man, but I reloaded the system. And I can see you can actually see the configuration of the controller there. Awesome. Okay. You can see the configuration of the controller there that you're being used, that's being used. Now, let's go and turn this off. I'm going to press this off for a second. There you go. To turn it off, you just press the start button, and it turns off. And one cool thing these controllers have is the application. There's an application here. It's called the Ultimate 8B Doe application software that lets you actually connect to the system over here click right there once i click there i can actually go to more settings and i can actually if i wanted to i can customize the buttons i could remap them here i could the sticks i could uh, could use sensitivity i could lower down the sensitivity if i want it look at this dead zone i could eliminate the dead zone as well of the controllers i can invert them as well if i want to disable that zone right there you can disable that zone if i want to um, triggers you can actually control the uh, sensitivity of them as well look at that you can control the sensitivity so if i want to put them here at 80 same thing over here at 80 i can go ahead and put that there let me see if i can i'm not using this because i'm over here it's connected over here vibration as well i can control the vibration level of the vibration I can sync to the device and it will actually sync to the device and there you go press to load profile i get that awesome uh here i got macros settings you could change uh if there's an update for them you can update it right here and that's it mapping button mapping you could button map right there and that's it that is so cool exit and we are done so yeah that's something really cool that this actually has that you can actually you know you can actually uh customize or adjust the sensitivity of the triggers 
of the sticks you can eliminate the the dead zones if you want to uh, you can control the vibration using the application as well you can remap all these buttons as well so that's the cool thing about that software about these so here i am playing with the spider-man game and of course it just feels nice So yeah, this, the controller actually works how it should, of course, this is how it should work, but, you know, I have so many other controllers, I already did a video of me playing this game using the DualSense controller, which honestly feels like, you know, like they're made for each other, and this still feels good, this is an awesome controller, the 8-bit though, is recognized as one of the best controllers to actually play on the Nintendo Switch and PC. So you will not regret getting this controller if you actually decide to get this controller because it's a very popular controller and it's popular because it has a because of its reputation. It's well done, it's well built. Um, there's so many like see the application actually made it a little bit better in my opinion because now you can actually customize the controllers, triggers, dead zone. And so on so on i'll leave links in my description for these controllers just in case you're interested in getting them but like i said these were sent to me so i can try them out and make a video for you guys okay and they do look pretty damn good let me know in the comments which one you think is better the purple one or the black one i think the black one looks better but you know purple one looks good too let me know in the comments Okay, so we're gonna be playing this guy. Whew. Okay, let me go ahead and eliminate that first. <laughs> well, guys, thanks for watching this video. Till next time, bye bye.